All right, today uh, we're letting these puppies, I'm, I'm halter breaking them or getting them broke to the collar and getting them broke to lead and to come to me and, and learn to be in the kennel. They've all been running out in this big paddock here together. All They've never been separated and kenneled up. So now it's kind of a big day today. So I'm gonna go, I've already halter break them in the pen. Like I put this collar on in their pen where they didn't have much room and I could just get them to give them with me before they get too much line out there. And I've halter broke a lot of colts that way where you, you have a small small paddock, you can use your corners to bring them out of there and they'll learn to come to you. So now these have all been handled that way. I'll put them in, the, now I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna ask this little fellow to come out and I'll, I'll, he's my most aggressive cow dog. He really wants to work. And uh, so I'll get my collar back on him. I worked him probably maybe a half an hour ago and it went real nice. And I quit him, I only worked him for about five minutes each. And so now I'll just make sure he still remembers the, the lead line. He's, there you go, good. And I'll just get him given a little pressure here. Just refreshes his mind. Good. Now we'll just take him outside. And he's probably. He might go more than some of the other ones. So, so with him, I'm gonna really go with him. And I'm gonna really, really uh, draw him a lot. Like I'll step back and ask him to come so he doesn't have to run off and get afraid. So just that little bit of work. He hasn't been outside here where he can run off. And I'll just let that little bit of work in the kennel. And this backing up thing is a real important part. Now I'm gonna let him go and then I'll ask him to come back with me. Come. And now I'm gonna make a corner. Good job. Good, but backing up and asking him. And this is gonna carry through when I'm working cattle. When I want the dogs to bring cattle to me, I back up and draw them. So this is a draw for him to draw him to me. And I'll just use this collar. See my draw is doing more than the collar is right now on the lead line. So now I'm gonna let him lose me for a minute, if he will. I'll let him go somewhere else and and just let him, I won't do much here for a minute. So I'll just let him walk off and leave me. He'll go find something else to do in a minute. Fine. I'll take him over by these puppies. Now oh, that's good. Now I got to give him plenty of time to make up his mind to come with me before. If I do it too fast, he'll, it'll startle him and he'll want to struggle and get away from get away from the collar. So I let him draw it to one of his brothers or sisters. Come, good. Now there, is, there we go. Now I'll just ask him to come back. Good. So he's really hooked on to me, that's nice. So, but at some point he's gonna have to try it and he's gonna have to figure out where the end of this halter rope or this line is. So I'll just, I'll let that happen, it'll happen. And I'd like it, there we go. Good, try to keep it out from under his legs. And we'll just, there, and that's good. But he, he really is sharp and he hooked on real nice. So I won't fight that. Or I'll let him, if he wants to go somewhere else, I'd, I'd like him to. Tammy could even call him. I'll take him over here to Tammy. He's running the camera. And maybe you hook on to her. Good. And now I'll just ask her to leave her. Come. Good dog, come. Good boy. So that was the, that's the first time that he's had, the second time he's had the lead line on him. First time outside and he, he's really a sharp, sharp cookie. He figures things out pretty quick. So I'll just take him back to his kennel and end on a good note. Come. Come. <laughs> Yeah.
good. Now we'll see what happens here. Come. 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 Good boy. Come. Come. Ah, that's perfect. Come. Now we'll just let him. I don't want to fight him too much. Come here. Come. If I get down, he'll come to me. See? That, that, that was just enough to help him. So if I get down on my knees, here. Come. 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 He didn't want to cross the threshold. Good boy. Good. Good. Now I'll take him out again. Good dog. Good puppy. Let's see if he wags his tail. That's good. Hey, come. Come. Somewhere where he has to learn the end of that line. Come. 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 Now, come here. I'll take him out and walk him a little bit. Good, and I'm just going to call that good. Good, so that's a, that was good that he fought a little bit. The real good thing is, is to get it over with, let him quit fighting, get a good deal like we had there, and then just quit it. My big challenge is I want to do it again. And then it ends up in a fight, and it's too much for his mind. So that was a real nice session.